Section 5.1 is measuring, drawing, and estimating angles. First thing I want to look at is how to measure an angle. The best way to measure an angle is to use a protractor. If you don't have one, you should probably get one for the course. Um, and one, you'll probably need one on the provincial exam anyways. So to use a protractor, you have to measure the following angles. So for instance, I have this red angle here, and I put my protractor right over top of my red angle. I've made note that the center of the protractor, the very tip where the uh, 90 degree line meets the bottom is right at the very vertex or very tip of my angle. Next thing I do is I make sure that, well, I didn't draw this with a ruler so I didn't do a great job, but I make sure that the bottom line is straight with the bottom line of the protractor so that it m matches up with zero. Next thing I do is I look to see how many degrees um, this angle is and where it cuts through. It cuts through about there. So let's see, it's about 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So 50 would be this line, 55 is here. The 100 and 110 and 120 are for obtuse angles. This one happens to be an acute angle, and it's about 55 degrees. If I take the same protractor and move it over to my other angle over here, again, do the same thing, make sure that the middle line lines up at the vertex, and that the bottom straight line is along the straight line of your angle. Next thing I do is I measure it out this way. <clears throat> if I see, oh, it's like 60 something, nope, nope, wait, that's wrong, because this angle is bigger than 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees would be straight up and down, but it's actually bigger than 90, so therefore we're going to be counting in the hundreds. So after 100, 110, and about 116, right? It's past 115, so about 116. So my first angle was about 55, if I remember correctly. Fifty-five, and this one was one hundred and sixteen degrees. Okay, so just make note of how you measure with a protractor. Now remember that fifty-five degrees is smaller than ninety, so therefore this is an acute angle. Acute means smaller than ninety degrees. This one is larger than, so smaller than ninety degrees. This one is larger than 90 degrees, so it's 116. So we call this one an obtuse angle. And this means bigger than 90 degrees. So how to measure angles. Next thing I want to look at is reference. And references are anything that you can use to estimate angles using a common angle. So for instance, a clock face. We all know what a clock looks like. Um, and we know that if the hands are faced like this, we could say, oh, okay, I know that that's 90 degrees, but I also know that that's 3 o'clock, right? So we know from a clock face that there's angles involved, right? If I were to move the hand down below, then I would have an angle of 180 degrees. As the hand moves across, it just forms bigger and bigger degrees. A compass we'll look at in a little bit. So reference diagrams, it's a good idea to know your main degrees. The first one is 90, that's this angle in here. The second one I have up here is 45 degrees, that's half of 90. Good idea to know what that angle kind of looks like. And that would be from the bottom line right to the angle I have there. And 180 degrees is a straight line, it goes straight across. So based on my reference, let's estimate these angles. So I have my reference uh, picture up above, and I'm going to estimate these angles. Well, the first one I have, it looks like it's a bit more than, uh, than half of 90. So let's maybe say it's a little more than 45, so maybe 60. And how did I estimate that? Well, I estimated that based on my diagram. I know that 45 degrees would be half of 90, which might be something like that. So I estimated it to be a little more than 90, or sorry, a little more than, than 45. And this is an acute angle. Here, I have this angle here, right to there. Hmm, it's a lot smaller than 60. And it's not quite 45. So, I don't know, estimated at maybe 30. And that, again, is also an acute angle. The red line shows where the 90 degrees would be. This one here, I have my angle that's actually bigger than my 90 degrees. Um, is it 180 degrees? No, it's not a straight line. But it's definitely bigger than 90. So maybe 120, 
and this one is an obtuse angle. Okay, so estimate angles. You're not going to be exact because you're not measuring them with a protractor. If we could measure them with a protractor, we would see what they are exactly. But just estimating using a reference. All right. Lastly, I want to look at bearings. Now, this is kind of like what the compass question was asking you. When you have a bearings, these are directions that are used in navigations for ships and aircraft, and the degrees are measured starting at north and going clockwise, so going that way. So I have north, then I have north-northeast, then I have northeast, then I have east-northeast and east. Notice that east is a full 90 degrees from my north, and northeast, the one in here, would be 45 degrees. So my north northeast or my east is 90 degrees all the way to the end and my northeast just to that line is 45 degrees. So let's estimate the following using these bear this bearing wheel. You won't be asked too many questions on this and it won't be there won't be many questions on the provincial exam but it is definitely good to know. Okay, let's see here. Hmm, it's actually close to, it looks like it's almost exactly, if I drew a line there and made 90, it's almost exactly half. So let's say that's about 45 degrees. That means it would be about northeast, would be the closest one I would say. Northeast. Okay, let's see the next one. I have my north line there, and I have this line coming down here. Well, it's not straight down. Mm, it's maybe a little bit more than the southwest, so maybe about southwest. So I would say, yeah, that's probably about southwest. And if we looked at the degrees of that, 180 would be to the edge, and then halfway between would be another 45. So it would be 180 plus 45, which would be about 225 degrees, just so you know. So it's going all the way around to southwest. Okay, So it's 180 to here and then another 45 degrees to southwest. Hopefully that gets you started. Just review the video maybe if you want to see again how to measure with a protractor, using a reference diagram, and finally how to use bearings.